What's up everybody? System Psycho here with my monthly pickups. This is January 2016 pickups. Let's get it started. All right, let's start off with two things that I found at a thrift store. Um, these are basically free, honestly. Um, there's only two games. One was a PS2 and one was a PS1 game. The PS2 game that I found was uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Um, this was like 50 cents, I think, or a dollar or something. But what's funny about it is that uh, it doesn't come with the manual, but it came with two copies, two discs, which I don't know, I think that's random. Um, I already owned this for the Xbox. I didn't, when I bought this, I didn't plan on keeping it, I plan on um, trading it in to a game store that I usually trade stuff into. And the other game was a sealed copy of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. It's the greatest hits version. Like I said, it's sealed, brand new never opened um it was this one was two dollars i you know i already own this game i own the black label the one with the holographic cover and i don't know whether i should keep this or not i could probably sell this for maybe about 40 bucks um or i should just keep it in my collection i don't know what do you guys think let me know down below um let me just show you some ps2 games that i got first one is burnout revenge you know, I've heard a lot of good things about Burnout. I just never owned any, I've never played any, but I saw this at a thrift store and I decided to buy it. I'm not too big into racing games, but I heard this really isn't a racer. It's more kind of like arcade-like where you destroy cars and gain points. So I thought, why not cop it, try out the Burnout series. And then I found um, Devil May Cry. This is an upgrade. Uh, the original one that I had didn't have a manual and the disc was a greatest hits disc. But um, I found this one for a dollar. This was uh, like original black label disc and it came with the manual. So this is a big upgrade. All right, um, I only got one Xbox game and that is Reckless, the Yakuza Missions. I remember when this came out back in the day, I always wanted to play it, I thought it was badass. And I think I had it for the GameCube for maybe a little bit, but I might've traded it in. Um, but I found it cheap at a thrift store for a buck. Decided to get it, copy for the collection. Okay, um, let me show you some Wii titles that I got. Again, you know, I, I'm with my collection now, I only pick titles that I know I will play, titles that I think that are good, that are worth having in your collection, so I don't pick up everything and everything that I find, you know what I mean? I, I, I stay true to, you know, what, what kind of games that I like. So, um, the first one, um, pretty much all of these were 99 cents each, I found them at a thrift store. Um, the first one is Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. I already own this for the PlayStation 2. Um, I know it's a Capcom title. That's the main reason why I got it, because Capcom, I love Capcom. I know this is kind of a quirky game. It's weird, I get it, but at the end of the day, I think it's fucking goofy as shit. It's something I want in my Wii collection. Next game is uh, Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games. Always wanted this. You know, any Sonic or any Mario game, I'm, I'm always down to get. So, found this for a dollar. And thought that was awesome, so I copped it. Also found me uh, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, complete. Of course, anything Resident Evil as well, I definitely want and cop. I found uh, Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventures. Um, with this title, this was basically an upgrade. I had it, but the, my copy of the disc was really scratched and it had no manual, but I found it complete and the disc was in perfect condition. These games are actually kind of fun. I actually like the Lego games. The last Wii title I got, this one was a 99 cents. I actually found this at uh, GameStop. Um, and that is uh, Sakura Wars, So Long My Love, it's by NIS America. Um, this is an RPG, you know, um, whatever RPGs I can find for the Wii, I think that are awesome. I, you know, I didn't even know this game existed until I saw it that day at GameStop, and it, I bought it for like 8 bucks. And I think online it goes for like 20 25 maybe, so GameStop has it for the low. So if you see that GameStop, definitely cop this. This came complete with manual and everything. Alright, let me show you uh, some three Xbox 360 games that I found. Um, you know, whenever I go to GameStop, I try to look for like those quirky games, those games that I rarely ever see, games that I know I'd play, um, that I really want in the collection. The first one is El Shade Ascension of the Metatron. I've never heard of this game. It was super cheap. I think it was like three bucks. You know, the cover got me. I mean, I, I like that kind of art style. It looks like it's like a, I don't know, action beat em up, kind of like God of War. I have not yet to play it, but you know, hey, why not? Okay. I got me Bioshock 2. I did not have two. I've had one for the longest time and I decided to finally get Bioshock 2. With all my 360 titles I'm trying to get like um, 
every game of each series. So I have like all the Gears of War. I have the majority of the Assassin's Creed. And you know, I got like all the Halos. So you know, um, Bioshock 2 was one of the ones that I really needed to complete um, the series. Talking about completing another series, uh, Mass Effect, this is the very first one. I have two and three, but for some reason I just could never find the first one. Um, especially like by itself with a case. Um, usually it's just a GameStop case. But what's funny is this is like a day one case. Still has the, um, you know, the, the sticker that you peel off, and it says "Do not sell before November 20th of 2007." So this is like a, you know, first edition copy, really good condition. So again, I just you know completed Mass Effect. I actually never played this game. I really want to get into it, so I'm definitely gonna try this out. Another quirky ass game that I think is funny as shit to have: Dead or Alive Extreme 2. I do not own the first one, but this was five bucks. I've never seen it at GameStop until now, so fuck it, why not get it? Here's another very cheap game, Deadly Premonition. This looks like a survival horror game. I've heard a lot about it from other other YouTubers, um, collectors. You know, they always bring this up, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, found this, the, the, the last two, these next two I found at Best Buy. They were used, but they were, you know, $9.99 each, which is a pretty good price compared to GameStop. Um, first one is Resident Evil Revelations. I actually beat this game. It took me about seven hours. You know, I hear the Revelation series is actually really good. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it kind of felt more like the original Resident Evil, you know, the more um, spooky, creepy, you know, a little bit more grittier with Jill being inside a haunted ship, you know, so. Yeah, definitely beat this. I actually bought the second one as well, which I do not have. It's actually my friend's house. I bought it for the PS4. We're actually um, co-oping that one together, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely a good game. And the last game that I got, which I'm so happy to find, I found at Best Buy out of nowhere for $9.99, which is super good and excellent condition, is The King of Fighters 12. Finally got this, man. You know, I, I found, last month, I found King of Fighters 13 for the 360 for 10 bucks. And, you know, got this one for 10 bucks, which isn't a bad price. Um, but I still want 12 and 13 for the PS3. I don't have, I don't have those two, and I can never see them in any time in any GameStop, so. Um, those are going to be the next two games I get for the PS3, but happy to finally have this in my collection. Alright, um, wow, this month was pretty low on, uh, PS3 games that I purchased. Um, so the first one, I didn't even know this existed, um, White Knight Chronicles 2. Last month, if, if you guys watched, I actually purchased White Knight Chronicles 1, um, and then I found White Knight Chronicles 2, so decided to buy that. I actually got this one yesterday, um, rarely ever see this, this was a launch game. Folklore, here's a really good game. Um, GameStop has it for like 12 bucks, but this usually goes between 20 to 25 dollars on, on eBay. So if you see this at GameStop, I, I suggest you cop it. Um, the last PS3 game is a fighter that I waited until the price went down, and that is Undernight in Birth. Um, this is actually a really good anime fighter. You know, a lot of anime fighters that I buy, they're okay. You know, I, I really don't pick them up after the first time I play them, like Arcana Hearts, you know, shit like that. But this one, like it's very fluid, animation is top notch, characters are really unique and cool. So um, if you're into fighting games, um, check out 109 Inverse, I think you guys really like it. The only PS4 game that I purchased was Trials Fusion. So this and Rocket League are really the only two games I play on PS4 right now. Even though I got you know other PS4 games right here, um, this is definite, <laughs> this game is fucking awesome. I love Trials, I, I loved it on the 360. Um, Fusion is even cool, you know, I'm trying to get all the golds, but dude, these levels get so fucking hard, it's ridiculous. But I'm glad they have a physical copy, and you know, I'm all about physical stuff, so cop that. Alright, so I got last three games, I'm just going to show you guys, last three items. Um, retro, you know, I, li I like to show the retro, the way, way, way retro stuff last, because I think it's it's more of my era, the, you know, the, game, the type of games that I, I, I like more. Um, so I copped one NES game. This is actually a reproduction. It's um, the California Raisins, The Great Escape. Um, this was actually a Capcom game that was being developed, and they decided not to finish it. They they didn't even sell. They didn't even put it out for retail or anything. But you know nowadays people, you know they they, they get the IPs and they make production carts. But um, I actually got this from another collector, which no longer collects games anymore. He's getting rid of all his stuff. He was purging out everything on Instagram. His name is Blink. Um, underscore AFI um, has a lot of good deals on a lot of shit. I mean, ha half the time when it, when he puts stuff up, people claim that shit in a second. But he he didn't even have, he even have time to claim this. I saw this in the background picture and I asked him for it, personal message him, and 
So yeah, I got it. Uh, comes with the box, comes with the manual, uh, the cart, of course. And you know, just want to put that in my collection. You know, I already have every Capcom title for for the NES. So you know, why not add ones that you know were being developed but never came out? And I mean, me, you know, I'm an old head, so I remember California Raisins. I think California Raisins are amazing, but um, I have yet to play it. It's just a regular platformer, side scroller. So um, yeah. Glad to have it in my collection. All right, um, got me a SNES RPG, box and complete. Um, if you guys watched my video last month, since it was December, I bought myself Chrono Trigger, complete in box. That was like a Christmas present to myself. Um, this month, I purchased Secret of Evermore. Hear a lot of great things about this, and you know this game's actually had not that ex well. It's expensive, but it's not as expensive as I thought it would be. You know, I think it's honestly one of the cheaper um, RPGs um, on the SNES. So, finally glad to have that in the collection. Alright, last game. Um, this game, man, I've, I've been wanting this for a while and unfortunately it's gone up in price. Just a year ago, the game was like $30, $35. Now this fucking game goes for like $80, $70, bucks, you know what I mean? And um, It's a Sega Saturn title and unfortunately Sega Saturn prices are going way up. I have purged out tons of Sega Saturn games. You know, I I sold I think I sold like at least a third of my Sega Saturn games. Um, I even have um, an auction up right now. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's a uh, it's a lot of ten Sega Saturn games. Uh, shameless plug. So I'll actually leave my eBay account down so you can actually check that check that auction out if you guys are interested. But um, the game that I purchased that I want in my collection that I've been wanting for a while um, that is Sonic Jam. I hear a lot of good things about this. Basically what this game is, it's I guess it's, it's, it's like a compilation, a collection of um, Sonic games. Um, I think it has Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, um, and Sonic and & Knuckles. Um, it also has like a, a 3D mode where you walk around and you know go to different uh, Sonic games to play. But you know this game is going up in price. Um, Sega Saturn really didn't have its own Sonic standalone title. You know they had Sonic R, they had um, Sonic 3D Blast and Sonic Jam, but it never had like it's official Sonic game. So, um, yeah, this was the last Sonic game I needed for the Sega Saturn. I'm finally glad I was able to put that in my collection. All right, guys, so that was it. That was Pickups January 2016. Once again, we appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments, um, anything, anything, you know, we love reading the comments, guys. We, we love getting back to you guys. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we do this. You know, we, we want to interact with you guys. We, we want to we wanna talk about the stuff that we love to talk about, um, that we provide content for you. Again, like, share, subscribe. Um, we will leave um, all our links down below to our Facebook, our Instagram, and continue to follow us, man, where we're going to be putting up more content, you know, whether it's it's more retro reviews, more game-related stuff, we're, we're, we're starting up um, podcasts, um, movies we love, and of course, Combo Crew panel discussions, which, you know, we enjoy doing, we love doing, you know, I feel like me and the Combo Crew, we have very good chemistry, these are my friends from, from years and years, and you know, uh, we all have the same interests and we just want to share that with you guys, you know. So, um, again guys, um, once again, I, I will continue to put out uh, pickups um, once a month. Um, so be sure for February and see what I caught. And again guys, appreciate you watching. Peace out.